welcome back friends today i built this house like this house i just i don't remember why i wanted to build this but i was like it'd be cool to have a house with a glass roof so i built a house that has a glass roof because i never really use glass roofs like i used them a lot when seasons came out but i feel like i haven't really used glass roofs since then it's this is a nice house i watched i built this house while i watched high school musical 2 because I, I don't know why I was watching High School Musical 2. It took me a while to actually build this house. Because I kept, like, stopping and going to do something and then coming back. But I do really like this house. I think it's very nice. This house is one of the last builds before I started my save file. And I've actually done my first build for my save file. So that's exciting. I have been doing school. School has been a mess. School has been such a mess. I have one class, and this teacher is literally assigning, like, a paper every single day. And it's just like, lady, like, please, stop. I want to take time to breathe. And she just keeps assigning papers. And, like, I don't know why she keeps assigning papers. Like, she's like, oh, well, in college classes, you need, you, you're going to need to write. No, in college classes, you don't need to write this much. I know, because I take the college classes. I don't know. <laughs> A teacher, she seems like a nice lady. It just irritates me how much work I have for her class. She seems like a nice person, lovely lady. However, I wish she would stop giving me so much work. Like the other classes I have, the workload is manageable. But like this specific class, it's like, why do you have so much work? Like, why are you giving us so much work? I don't know. So I did a lot of that. I'm going to speed run Spanish after this and just get like, a couple weeks worth of spanish like a, i don't know so i don't have to worry about spanish and i can focus on my other classes i don't know there's a lot but i just wanted to make i made a sim the other day because i make sims when i <clears throat> when i'm feeling not good i make sims sims is like free therapy well actually it wasn't free because my dad paid 65 dollars when this game first came out <laughs> to buy it for me so it was not free and i have every single pack for this game so technically it was not free but i'm um, free therapy yeah countless hours of free therapy countless hours of free therapy um i haven't started making townies yet for my new save file but i'm probably gonna make some townies like, I'm probably gonna, um, because I built a starter home, but that's just, like, well, it wasn't even a starter home, that's not true. It was, like, a hundred and something thousand simoleons. But I'm gonna start making sims. Like, for my starter home, like, I'm gonna either make the sims and build them a house, or build a house and then make the sims that live in the house. With whatever, whatever storyline that I seem to come up with. I don't know. This house is really small, but I'm very excited for my save file. It's probably gonna be, like, a six-month process yeah i don't know i also have some more cast i have a lookbook that i filmed the other day so that'll be up soon look forward to that i love a good lookbook i don't know i just got some new cc i should probably stop getting cc my poor poor computer i'm gonna probably get like an actual gaming computer because right now i just have like an all-in-one but i'll probably end up getting an actual like pc pc that you can like upgrade stuff with because the way I play Sims and the amount of CC I have, which actually I could probably cut down like 50 gigabytes of CC if I deleted all the Maxis Match stuff. Because I don't use the Maxis Match. I'm very much an alpha girly. So I'm not using the Maxis Match stuff. But I could easily get rid of the Maxis Match, but I don't want to. Because what if I want to make a Maxis Match Sim? Like, what if I want to make a Maxis Match Sim? I don't know. I've been posting on my, my TikTok not very much actually but like i've posted more than usual on my tiktok so you should follow me on tiktok also i forgot to mention but if you want this build it's also on the gallery like if you want this build it's also on the gallery so um yeah add it download it follow me on the gallery by chance i make lots of cool stuff and lots of interesting builds i built a lot of cool things lots of cool things I don't know, I was watching some YouTube this morning before I went to feed my dog. Like, before I went to let them out and, like, feed them and stuff. And this one person had created, like, an amusement park. It was, like, a stop-motion speed build. And it's just like, wow, you're so much more creative than I could ever be. <laughs> like, I'm creative, sure. 
Like, I make all these little characters, and they have all types of storylines. But when I think about it, am I really that creative? Because I could never come up with a build that creative. I don't know. I really like this house, though. I think it's a nice house. It's definitely one of my favorites. Um, yeah. So, it's it's coming together. I didn't know if I wanted to do it modern, but it's not modern. Because I feel like a modern house didn't fit. And it just happens to have a glass roof, and I really like it. I don't know. I've been doing a lot of things recently. Mostly school, though. Like, I just haven't had time to play Sims. Because I have school. But it's okay, because I'm, like, changing my schedule so I can play Sims more. Because I... I decided that I'm probably going to, like, record videos, like, on, like, Saturdays and stuff when I don't have much to do. So that I can be more consistent. Because that's important. Like, I feel like I can do, like, a lot of prep and pre-recording on Saturdays because I don't do much on Saturdays. So I'll probably do all that. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. Because normally I just, like, film these and I keep them in a folder on my desktop. And, like... I, like, get one out whenever I'm, like, oh, I should post a video. I get one out, and I do the voiceover. But I feel like I should definitely, like, pre-record. I don't know. Haven't decided. I might, because I feel like it'd be a lot easier on me. Oh, there I go, saving. I am s in such a habit of saving now, because I've had too many times where my game has crashed, and I've lost an entire build. So I'm in, like, such a habit of saving now. Like, it's like, oh, well, I finished the outside, I finished the exterior, let me save. This gloss roof was such a hassle. It was literally such a hassle, because you have to keep moving it, and moving it, and moving it. And there's probably an easier way to do it, I just haven't figured it out yet. But the room is literally in the roof. Like, the room is literally in the roof, so... I don't know. Like, I'm, here I am trying to put the windows in the inside. I think the bedroom that, that I make out of the room with the glass roof is very nice. This house is quite small, though. I don't know. I am getting more consistent. Also, the kitchen in this house is absolutely gorgeous. It's such a nice kitchen. I've been doing a lot of nice kitchens recently. And I feel like this house is kind of small. Like, it definitely looks kind of small, but that's okay. But I built it while I was watching High School Musical 2. Um, I like to watch stuff while I build. Mostly podcasts. Or, like, sometimes I listen to music. But, like, it's mostly podcasts. I don't know. I love a good podcast. I also like to watch, like, TV shows while I build. I binge-watched Riverdale. I know Riverdale is awful. I don't know why I'm still watching it. I, the, the last Next season is going to be the last season, I think. But I don't know why I'm still watching Riverdale. Riverdale, it, it's, it's a strange show. It is a strange show. And I, don't genu I genuinely do not enjoy watching it. I don't know why I watch it. I, I don't enjoy watching it. I'm not a fan of watching it. I feel like it's, it's not cohesive and it makes no sense. But, like, I put it on in the background and watch it. Like, whenever there's a new season, and, like, they release the new season on Netflix, I put it on in the background and watch it. Like, I'm just like, oh, well, I guess I'll watch Riverdale. Nothing else is good. I guess I'll watch Riverdale. I don't know. There's lots of good things you can watch on Netflix. But also, Riverdale is not one of those good things. So, basically, I'm just going in. And I am just finishing up the exterior interior. Here I am floor planning it, actually. I added a pantry. I don't know what you put in a pantry, because I don't have a pantry. So I don't know what you put in a pantry. I use these snowy escape counters, which I don't use. I feel like snowy escape is such a forgotten pack. I don't know. I love snowy escape. I think it's such a nice world. It comes with really good builds. But I feel like it's such a forgotten pack. Snowy Escape is genuinely such a forgotten pack, and I think it's one of the best done packs. I haven't played with it, but just by looking at what comes in build mode and stuff, and what comes in cast, and, like, the aspirations, 
I think it's a pretty good done pack. Like, it's pretty good. It's pretty well done. It's a pretty good, well done pack. And I really, really like it. I think it's a nice pack. Snowy Escape is a forgotten pack. And I feel like it deserves way more love than it has gotten. Because I don't know how many simmers are like, oh, well, Snowy Escape is a really good pack. Like, normally they're just like, mmm, Snowy Escape. Like, I feel like Eco Lifestyle gets more love than Snowy Escape. I don't know. People really despise Snowy Eco Lifestyle at first because it was supposed to be Cottage Living or like a Cottage Living E pack. But it didn't end up being Cottage Living E. It ended up being Eco Lifestyle. I think Eco Lifestyle is a really fun pack. I really do like Eco Lifestyle. It's not my favorite pack, but I think it's I think it's a nice pack. I genuinely do think Eco Lifestyle is such a nice pack. I like Eco Lifestyle. I think it's nice. I genuinely do think Eco Lifestyle is a nice pack. It's really good for starter homes. Or for like uh rags to riches or legacy gameplay. I like Eco Lifestyle. Um yeah. I don't know. I wish they would fix the game, to be honest. Like, my game's- I'm one of the lucky people that's game is, like, still playable. But at the same time, there's so many glitches and stuff that shouldn't exist. There's genuinely so many glitches and stuff that shouldn't exist. And I think it's ridiculous that we're still dealing with glitches, like, eight years into The Sims 4. And it's not like it's some indie-made game. Or, like, some underground game. Like, it's literally made by a multi-billion dollar company. And I think it's ridiculous that it's garbage. Well, it's not garbage. That's a bit of a stretch. But it's it's super glitchy and broken. And I think it's completely inappropriate for EA to keep releasing, like, packs and kits and stuff. And just keep slapping us with new content. Because they don't want to fix the game. I don't know. Maybe it will take time off and fix it. I don't know. I put dog food in the pantry. Because I assume that's what you would keep in your pantry. I don't know. My dog food just kind of goes in, like, a corner. I don't know. My dogs eat a lot. They're, like, big, so they eat a lot. Anyways, EA, like, and the people they have representing them, like, there's nothing wrong with them. They're all very, they all seem to, well, I don't know them personally, but they all seem to be very nice people. However, I wish they would actually do game changing, but I completely understand why they don't. Like, if EA was cutting me a check, and because EA is a multi-billion dollar pay company, I assume they're being paid and compensated very well. So I'm not gonna knock the Simmers for not, for not, like, speaking out against EA, because EA is probably cutting them a nice check. Like, they're probably being paid and compensated very well, and I wouldn't want to mess that up. Like, I wouldn't want to mess that up. Anyways, I've been really into big islands recently. I think islands are strange. I also saw that object from, I think, my wedding stories. And I was like, oh, well, I should build something with this. But then I was like, no, I shouldn't build anything with this because this pack is still broken. It's literally still broken, and I feel like a lot of people don't have it. Like, I feel like it's a pack that not a lot of people have because it's broken. So I try not to use it. I think I ended up using it for some flowers. But I try to avoid my wedding stories. In packs like Journey to Batu, like Cats and Dogs, Seasons, those are pretty like, oh, well, you know, it's a pretty common pack. A lot of people have it. Like, a majority of people, if they have Sims packs, will end up having one of those packs. So I try to just keep my pack usage limited. This pack is not a limited build. And... I've been doing limited builds recently. Like, I did a base game starter home that does not look like a base game starter home, and I was very proud of that build. It's my most popular build in the gallery. It beat my little 2017 wedding venue. I think it's very nice, though. Oh, yeah, I put this, this like, bowl thing in the pantry because it reminds me of a moleta or whatever they're called. Like, the, the, little, the little thing you take and you, like, you, like squish to make a... Uh, like salsa you take it to make mas like salsa and stuff uh it's called a moleta i think i don't know moleta i think it's called a moleta but i don't know also i use these paranormal plates that come came from snowy escape 
I forgot these were an object until I was digging through the uh, clutter. Because originally this was going to be a very limited build, limited pack build. Also, I didn't realize that a hot pot item came with Snowy Escape. But I might be building a hot pot like restaurant for Snowy Escape for my save file. I don't know. I don't really want to put restaurants in Snowy Escape because I feel like like in my save file because that includes another pack but i might build one just for fun because i want my save file to be exclusively just like base game in whatever pack the world is from i don't know maybe for my like new crest my new crest i think i might add in some stuff that uses more than one pack or might add in some like restaurants in new crest or like um restaurants like a haunted residential from like uh paranormal stuff uh, craft center with stuff from like nifty knitting bowling alley like i might do new crush just community lots and like tiny homes like stuff that uses other packs i don't know because if it's like new crest i feel like it's okay if new crush is just empty i don't know i put the dog bowls in the kitchen but i don't know where else to put them when it comes to sims gameplay like, me personally, my dog's bowls would never go in the kitchen because my dog shed a lot and you don't want dog hair in your food. You don't want dog hair in your food. So I would probably not put them in the kitchen, but it's The Sims. I don't think dogs really shed in The Sims. Um, That was originally going to be some sort of, like, laundry cloth, but then I changed my mind. I added a really nice backsplash, just, like, an, an accent, like, tile. I don't know. I added a little plant and another little plant. That plant is very nice. I feel like a lot of people mostly just use the potted palm. I think that's what it's called. Also, you can see the dining room. How there's just all of a sudden a dining room. Yeah, that's because I accidentally lost that footage. So you can just... You see there's like all of a sudden a living room and a dining room. Yeah, no, that footage, I accidentally lost it. My bad. Here I am doing the... Uh, I'm doing this like... I don't know what to call it, but this bedroom, this bedroom has, like, the glass roof. I don't know. I added a bathroom, too, so it has a bathroom off of it. I feel like it was originally the primary suite, but then they gave it to their kid. I don't know. I really like this dresser that came with high school years. I think it's a very nice dresser. It's unfortunate that they don't, there's not really a bed to swatch that matches it. I don't know, I feel like High School Years, it doesn't have, like, matching furniture sets, because it's not supposed to. It's supposed to be, like, stuff people have acquired over time. But I think it's nice. I wish High School Years added some bunk beds, though. Like, I know Dream Home Decorator added bunk beds, but I wish High School Years also added bunk beds. Because I think bunk beds are such an essential part of, like, growing up. I don't know, me and my brother used to have a bunk bed when we were little. Yeah, bunk beds were fun. We used to make, like, a fort out of ours when we were little and put, like, a blanket. It was a really good time. I don't know. didn't really like bunk beds. I really wanted to use this egg chair because I've yet to use this egg chair. I don't know. I wanted to use that ottoman. I don't know if I end up using the ottoman. I feel like it would have been better if that ottoman looked similar to a chest because I feel like we don't really have anything like that. But I feel like that's such a teenage thing to have, like, a random chest you acquired that you put all your stuff in? I don't know. I don't have a random chest of stuff I've acquired. I ended up using this, this like vine thing from the kit with uh, some, some blind thingies on top of it. I don't know what they're called. And then I end up changing it and adding that little plant holder thing. I really like that object. Kits are bad, but I'll tell you one thing. Kits do come with really good objects. Now, should you go out and buy kits? Absolutely not. But they have some really interesting items, like genuinely nice items. I don't know. Here I am, like swapping things around so they like, fit properly. Um, because it's like poking through. I don't think I end up using that. Um, I don't think I end up using that clothing rack. I don't know. I had such a hard time with the wallpaper. Oh, such an awful time with the wallpaper. Then I just end up figuring what kind of brick I want to use on the outside. And then I end up painting the outside. I end up doing some, like, brick and siding. That's a really nice combo. I don't know. 
I feel like I'm pretty good at building in The Sims, but I haven't really built anything, like, monumental. But I definitely feel like I'm good at building in The Sims, but I haven't built anything that I'm like, oh, well, this is a really good thing that I built. I'm very proud of myself. I don't know. And that's why I'm doing the save file, because I want to be able to do that and say that about my builds. I don't know. I feel like save files are a fun activity as well, because you get bored with your sims. Guess what? I might play in this save file and actually feel some kind of inclination to keep playing. I don't know. I have a singular sim. Um, <laughs> her. I have a singular sim that I'm genuinely attached to. Her name is Becky. Her name is Becky. Becky B. She is a top tier sim. I might make her because she is literally a comfort sim. I might film a video of me making her because I would like to have her just in my own gameplay because I haven't made her in a while. But she's like kind of, she looks similar to like, uh, like Melanie Martinez. Like I give her kind of like a Melanie Martinez face shape, but also like she has like her own style. I do, I do love Becky. Becky is a top tier sim. <laughs> I'm emotionally attached to the sim. She is started off as a science project when I was in like sixth grade. I was in sixth or seventh grade when I made Becky and she started off as like a science project for a teacher that I couldn't stand. That teacher also could not stand me. Zero out of 10 would not recommend. Dalton, he sucked. He genuinely sucked. He would go on tangents about how much he hated minorities and how all minorities were like on government benefits and all minorities like sucked he sucked a lot and um he would get very angry at me because i a lot of kids were scared to call him out but me i wasn't i had nothing to lose what was he gonna do call home <laughs> he was gonna call home <laughs> he was gonna call home like he's gonna go home and my family's gonna come down and yell at him for me like they're gonna come down there and talk to him and have a, t a stern talking to with him because of the way he's treating the minority children I yeah, know because of Dalton treating me awfully and me sticking up for myself I got benched for an entire season of volleyball like eighth grade year I decided you know what it's my last year in middle school I'm gonna play sports um I didn't even play sports I was benched the whole season and I didn't even get a chance to play like another sport because there was a global pandemic so zero out of ten would not recommend zero out of ten would not recommend I've also been putting lots of uh columns outside of my builds because i think they're fun and like i've been mixing and matching columns like recently because like i use the get together ones and i just use these base game ones i feel like not a lot of people use these base game columns because they um their display they display in like a really ugly color like it's not cute like the display color they come in is not cute yeah so i'm just putting columns i Took for, it took me forever to do the landscaping on this build. Because I didn't know what I wanted to do. So I did it. But I didn't... I don't know. Here I am. I think these clips are out of order. But here I... Oh, no, that's upstairs. Never mind. I thought that was the living room. That's upstairs. On, like, the landing. I don't know how many upstairs houses actually have landings. Because I know some of the kids I know, their house just goes, like, upstairs. And there's, like, a skinny hallway where all the bedrooms are. I don't know. I don't know many kids who have, like, actual landings. I end up putting the keyboard from City Living, and it should be usable. I can't see why it wouldn't be usable there, because I've put it in a spot, like, smaller than that before. Um, it should be usable, but I don't know. I don't know. I added a bunch of, like, artwork... Also, when I start building, I think I'm going to make the families first. Before I start building, like, the houses, I think I'm going to make, for my save file, I think I'm going to make the families first. Because I want to be able to add family photos around the house. I'm also going to be building a cemetery, because I intend to kill off a couple sims. Not for my own personal pleasure, but it's like, oh, well, you know, Sally's dad had an unfortunate end with a cow plant. Like in the family description, then you can go to the cemetery and actually see that Sally's dad did in fact have an unfortunate accident with the cow plant. I don't know, what's your guys' favorite way to kill Sims? Because me personally, I haven't killed Sims in a while. Like, I used to avidly murder my Sims when I was younger, because I thought it was entertaining. Um, 
I don't know. I haven't killed Sims in a while. And I feel like there's so many new ways to kill Sims. And I just haven't tried them. I don't know. I have to say my favorite way to kill Sims. It's a classic. I probably prefer to drown them in the pool. Because you kind of just stick them out there and build a fence around the pool. You used to not have to do that. You used to just be able to just stick them in the pool and take away the ladder. But unfortunately, Sims 4 Sims are slightly smarter. So you can't just do that. But I think I prefer to kill them that way. I think it's simpler. I think it's easier. It's less pain and suffering for them. Because they just get tired and die. Um, yeah. So I just... They get tired and die. I think it's the best way to kill Sims. Because, like, think about it. Your Sims husband cheated on her. Guess what? Throw him out to the pool. I feel like it's the less... It's, like, a less effort. Starvation is also a good way to kill Sims. Because you just kind of lock them in a basement or lock them in a room. Till they starve to death. Uh, I don't know. I feel like that's the... Also, death by anger is a really easy way to kill Sims. Like, getting them enraged... I don't know what's the best way to kill sims like i feel like it has to be drowning like that's the quickest easiest way to kill sims because a cloud plant you have to wait meteors take take a a second time sims rabbit rodent fever takes a while i don't know what's the best way to kill a sim i feel like it has to be like drowning or something of that sort because it's just the quickest way like it's quick and easy I don't know, because fireplaces take a lot to kill sims, and like fireplaces, because your sim, a lot of people don't know this, but if you put a rug too close to your fireplace, your sim can catch on fire and die. Um, what else can kill your sims by fire? That one toilet can kill your sims by fire, like after it's been upgraded to like fertilize something. Um, I don't know what else can kill your sims. There's a lot of ways to kill your sims with fire. Like, if they have a bad cooking skill, that can kill them. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think. There's plenty of ways to kill sims, but I think it's drowning. Drowning has to be the best way. It just, it seems so simple and easy. Anyways, I really like this this bedroom. This bathroom is very nice. I don't normally do walk-in showers, because I feel like shower tub combos are the best in real life and in The Sims. Because it's just so quick and easy. Like, it's literally just so quick and easy. Like, your shower tub combos, guess what? You can you can give your, your toddler a bath. You can give your, like, child a bath. I feel like they're genuinely just the quickest way. But here I am adding stuff for the uh, shower... It should still be functional. I can't see why it wouldn't be functional with all this decor. It definitely should still be functional. I don't know, but here I am adding stuff. I don't know. I take my mods folder out when I, like, build now. I used to not, but it just makes my game so laggy if the stuff's not merged. And I don't want to merge it because it's going to take forever and a day if I want to make a sim and link that sim CC. Um, I used this Realm of Magic thing and I wanted to put it over the shower head. But it did not work at all. I had such a hard time trying to figure out how to get it to work. Oh, death by sauna. I was just thinking about that because I was thinking about the shower room. That's also another really quick way to kill sims. Pufferfish Nigiri. That's also another quick way to kill sims. I don't know. Maybe I should do a let's play. I've been considering it, but I don't feel like anyone would want to watch that. And I personally don't want to edit that because no one wants to listen to me talk for that long. I don't. I don't think anyone else does. But I feel like a Black Widow challenge would be really good. I would probably enjoy that. I would probably end up finishing that. I think that the best Sim series, I'm, I'm going to start a Sim series, not like a Let's Play. But I feel like making a house for a specific family of Sims and then taking pictures of them would be like a taste of the let's play life it would be a taste and writing like their descriptions and stuff i feel like that'd be a taste i'm gonna put all my sim my save file stuff like on the the in a playlist when i start release because this build's not in my save file but when i start making builds for my save file it's gonna be all linked in a playlist but here i am just decorating the counter with lots of like clutter from like parenthood and stuff i don't know i feel like this is like a teenage girl's bathroom 
I really like that butterfly painting. I think it's very nice. Now here I am, landscaping. I'm gonna start land- oh, am I gonna landscape? I think I'm gonna put a table out here first. Yeah, I do end up putting an outside table. I wanted to put one of those slip and slides, but I didn't end up putting- I didn't end up putting a slip and slide. I don't know. I feel like those objects don't really get used. I might build a pool or some lot type like that where you can, um, where I can put them because I feel like they're not getting usage in my family homes because they're just so massive. Like, they're genuinely so massive. Like, you can see the dining room now. I don't know. The, I, I don't know how that footage did not work. I don't know. But it was an entire, like, family room. I really like these chairs. I bought Get Together, not Get Together, Get to Work just for these chairs. I really like them. I think they're very good quality chairs. But here I am landscaping. The landscaping on this build is very minimal compared to my normal landscaping. I just kind of put some shrubs and threw some trees and put a little bit of rock landscaping. Like, I don't know. I don't want to make that a signature thing I do because it's just so confusing. It's not confusing. Time consuming is what I meant. But here I am putting the dirt and laying down the rocks. This looks a lot quicker when it's sped up. But this probably took me, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes in real life. But it looks so much quicker when it's sped up. It genuinely looks so much quicker when it's sped up. But here I am just adding my rocks in and I'm going to landscape inside the rocks. I don't know. I really like the landscaping in this house. I think it's nice. I think it's a good quality house. You can see where it was cut where I had to turn on move objects again. But here I am just adding the plants. I really like that one plant. That one little shrub. I don't remember what it's called, but I really like it. Here I am just adding some plants. Nothing too, too special. I think I started watching TikTok by this point. I don't know. I don't watch TikTok very often because TikTok kills brain cells. Like, you can say I'm just a hater, but um, it actually does. It's steadily... There's studies that prove that TikTok kills brain cells. But here I am just landscaping this. I don't know. I use the Moschino windows. I never use the Moschino windows. But I saw a video where a girl had built a family house and she used the Moschino windows. And I was like, hey, when you put them in that style, they actually look kind of good. I don't think I'm going to use Moschino windows all the time, but I think they're very nice. I think they're nice windows. I think they're good quality windows. I don't know. I'm going to film a bunch of videos today because I want to have content to release because it is important to me because this is a hobby and I feel like I'm not making time for my hobbies. I don't know. I haven't decided. I've been posting, like, shorts and TikToks and stuff, but those take, like, three seconds to make. And also, I just have a lot to talk about. Not really, but I just, I want to talk for, like, a solid hour and a half until I get tired. Because then I can just focus on my school and get all that done. Because guess what? There's no thoughts in my brain because I got them all out on a Sims video of literally genuine word vomit. But it's okay. I appreciate anyone who listens to me word vomit about all of my things. All the most random things going on in my head. But, um, this video is coming to an end. I'm gonna add some flower boxes back here. No, I'm just kidding. But I do appreciate you watching this. Okay, bye. Have a good day.